Hello again, everybody. Jim Hickey, also known as At Bass Fishing Tips on Twitter. Back to you today with another quick tips video. This time on how to add a spinnerbait blade to your favorite jig or chatterbait, whatever the case may be. Okay, this is inspired by a friend of mine, uh, Mark Easterling, uh, also known as At Lap Bass on Twitter, who tried to do just this with one of his chatterbaits last week and uh, said he loved the action that it had, but it only took about three casts to actually get the blade to come flying off the chatterbait and no longer be an issue. Uh, but it's a relatively simple process. Um, and what I'll do is I'll take a jig here. <clears throat> Could be your favorite swim jig. This is a 3D uh, eye jig from Lockjaw Jigs out of Elkhart, uh, Indiana. And what I've done is I've taken and taken the inner ring, you know, that split ring that you'd actually connect to the, to the shaft of your spinnerbait trailer. Uh, put on one trailer keeper, trailer hook keeper underneath it, slid the blade on, uh, the blade on, excuse me, and then taking a second trailer hook keeper and slid it over it to get that blade to stay in place. And that blade pretty much isn't going to go anywhere. It's going to stay on there, okay? Able to move around freely, spins nicely, spins nicely. There we go. So it works quite nicely, okay? Now, one other option, if you happen to have some latex tubing, Okay, that many uh, trailer hook companies provide in their baits. Another option, I've actually sh set up here on a big click vibrating swim jig that's offered by Angler's Gold out of uh, Florida. And what I've done is I've taken that piece of latex tubing, as you'll see here, slid it over the inner ring of the uh, barrel swivel, that part that you'd actually, again, connect to the wire of a spinnerbait if that's where it was going. In this case, it's going on to the shaft of the hook. And then once that's done, taking that, uh, taking the hook of your chatterbait, penetrated the tubing through the split ring to hold that thing in place. And that'll hold it in place really nicely. So if you can get your hand on some latex tubing, you know, I, as I talked about in another video, I don't advise using this approach uh, for connecting trailer hooks, but it's a great way to connect your spinner, uh, spinner to a jig, to your favorite chatter bait, chatter type bait, in order to get that different type of presentation. Hopefully you find this tip helpful, and we'll be talking to you again real soon.